All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Ares Martian Rover, which is being made by forum user KD. and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is all the parts you need to build your own... Ares Rover from the movie The Martian. And that was a wonderful movie with a wonderful rover. And so when I saw this pop up on the forums just today when I recorded this, I had to give it a look, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed for the state it's in so far. It still is sort of a work in development, but it's pretty awesome. So let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and have a look at all the parts that do make it up. And currently, there are only six parts. Now, the mod maker is wanting to add more in the future, but for the moment, it's just the basic rover, starting with, of course, the Martian rover module here, which if we pop it in and then perhaps grab... Uh, Yes, a Mark I capsule for scale. There we go. Quite a nice little uh, rover capsule here. And it is a command pod. It can be unmanned. Electrical charge of 4.8 per minute requirement for it. It has its own reaction wheel, SAS, and a battery of 30. And can only fit one singular crew member inside. And it's... Pretty nice overall, very good looking. Sadly does not yet have an internal view, but that is sort of an immediate thing that the mod maker is working on and hoping to get into the mod as quick as possible. Cause well, who wouldn't want the internal view of this baby right here? And overall very gorgeous modeling to it. The only sort of uh, pet peeve I have with it is the texturing. You guys know me, I like stock alike parts. So uh, this being not quite stock alike, it puts me off a little bit, but overall the whole mod put together is just so cool. I can ignore that, uh, but hopefully it does see a few improvements in the future. But for right now, very well done, very well made. Now the next two parts we're gonna have a look at are down here in structural, where we will find two different trailer pieces, the first being the primary trailer, which if we just sort of, uh, oh boy, pop it on here somewhere, there we go. <laughs> uh, yes, it is a lovely trailer. Let's actually flip this thing around so it's slightly better viewed, kind of. Oh boy, there we go, that's a little bit better. Oh, <laughs> uh, you'd think I'd learn how to manipulate things properly by now. But yes, here we go. This is the primary trailer piece for the rover. And my biggest complaint about this, because I do, again, I love the modeling on this, texturing, uh, I could use a bit more work. But my big complaint for this one is, if we take off this command pod, is that the trailer doesn't have an attachment node for it. You actually do have to just sort of hand fit it in to this area down here. Uh, so that is one thing, hopefully that does get added. It would be nice for there to be a little attachment node down here and then a similar attachment node on the end of the trailer. Uh, but for right now, it's perfectly serviceable without it and it's just a useful half-ton trailer. A very nice little thing. Let's actually just pop that back on there. And together with the sort of uh, main cabin, looks pretty good. And of course, the wheels for the rover going right there and right there. All right, so the next part is the secondary trailer, which does have an attachment point for it, so I don't see why the main one doesn't. But yes, it goes back here, of course, and it is supposed to be attached to the main rover by another piece we'll talk about in the utility tab. Now the mod maker has essentially taken one of the advanced grappling units and scaled it down to a trailer hitch essentially. It's a small advanced trailer pivot mechanism and it's supposed to go right on the edge of uh, this main trailer and then you sort of grapple onto this thing to actually work as a trailer hitch. So of course if you do want to attach them uh, for the first round of your trip, you're probably going to need to make some sort of uh, contraption to attach the two of these. I'll show off what I'm talking about a bit better in a saved uh, version of the trailer in here. 
Uh, but for right now, this is what you'd use so you could have like multiple of these trailers just sort of sitting around at your base and then use the small pivot mechanism to actually uh, grab whichever one you need for that current mission out there on Duna, which works quite well. And of course, similar to the main trailer, the wheels attach right there. Now, the next two parts that we have here in the utility tab are, of course, well, the wheels. Kind of be hard to have a rover without wheels, so if we grab one of these, there we go again. Gorgeously made on the modeling. I really do enjoy it. Very cool looking wheel. And as you can see here, we have an impact tolerance of 300 on this thing and a maximum speed of 100 meters per second with using electric charge of 0.25. Now, it won't ever get up to actually 100 meters per second. I don't think I've ever gotten this thing up to even 50. But one thing that is cool about this whole system is once the whole mod's put together, the whole rover rather, it's actually supposed to be on par with the range of the actual rover in the movie. So with a full charge, you should get about 70 kilometers out of the rover, which is quite cool. I like the uh, sort of accuracy to that. It's very nice. Now the next part that we have in here and the final part, oh boy, where'd it go? Here we are, the Martian rover solar panel and battery. And you just sort of pop this onto your trailer wherever and it's a built-in battery with uh, you know a, quite a nice capacity at 4800 electrical charge that of course has the built-in solar panel on the roof now the solar panel itself isn't exactly the best of them out there but it is fairly functional at six electric charge per minute and uh, actually how does that compare to say one of these up here so yes that's 24 per second so definitely a much slower solar panel but perfectly acceptable for most missions now, these are the six parts as it exists in the mod at the moment. As I said, the mod maker is wanting to make more things, like for instance, a deployable solar panel to go on here. So like when you're stationarily parked someplace, if stationary leave was probably the wrong word to use there, uh, you can actually extend a solar panel to get more charge. They're also thinking of making like a habitat module trailer or something like that, or at least a module to go onto a trailer, which would be quite cool. So hopefully we'll see a lot of interesting parts coming out for this in the future. But for the time being, you can make a pretty nice rover to go onto any planet you may want, not just Duna. And uh, here is a finished one, which does actually come with the downloaded mod files. So you can just load this up for a completed version of the rover. And you can see what I mean about the weird mechanism you may have to uh, build to get the trailer with the main sort of rover all in one go. Now, personally, if I was sending one of these to a planet, I would send the main body in one mission and multiple trailers in a second mission. But if you did want to shoot them both up at once, you do need to make something like this, where you have little structural pieces connected by a decoupler here, or separator rather, and so that you can uh, take it someplace and then, you know, detach it and then attach to the trailer with the little pivot mechanism here. A very cool, we'll show that off on Duna, of course, cause well, this is the Ares rover from the movie, The Martian. So I figured best to show this thing off on Duna. So I cheated one up there earlier with a uh, good old hyper edit. So let us go and take a look at it. Actually, let's fast forward time until it's in a good position sun-wise, cause at the moment, it's getting near the dark end, or it is then the sort of morning, I guess. So there we go. That should be nice in midday. And let us head right on over to Duna and have a look at this rover in action. And overall, it's it's a pretty cool little thing. I quite like it. I love the look of this thing in the movie, and so I'm quite happy to see it here in the game. Just as happy, in fact, as I have been for all the other rover mods that are, uh, Martian mods, rather, that have been coming out in recent months. It's been quite cool. So yes, here we go. We have the full rover here with a uh, Kerbal inventory crate on the back for you to, uh, you know, store any of your goods. And with this Separatron still attached, we can just drive this thing around like any normal rover. But of course, you're wanting to see the trailer mechanism. So let us park and put down our gears. There we go. Got that to keep up the trailer so it doesn't tilt downward. And then just release the Separatron. 
And then turn off the brakes, of course, so I can move. And there we go. Just go forward. Let's drop the Separatron. What was that explosion? <laughs> okay, you gotta love Kerbal Space Program. Sometimes things explode for no reason. And you uh, use this just like you would the normal sort of grappling unit. You just release the arm. And then back right on into this thing. Oh god, I've gone a little off center. Oh boy. Okay, okay, let's... Let's do this a little bit better here. I've exploded things again. All right. So if we move forward, or reverse rather, there we go. We are now connected so we can bring up the gears and drive away. Now it defaults into uh, locked mode, but we can turn on the free pivot. So it actually functions like a trailer hitch. It actually pivots back and forth as we turn, which is quite nice. I, I like that little extra detail with this thing. Though, of course, if you don't get it quite on center as I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> then it'll be a bit off kilter, which means you'll have to correct it with turning every so often. But overall, a very cool little thing. I like the idea of a scaled down grappling hook, or grappling mechanism rather, to be used as a trailer hitch. It's a pretty cool little idea that I'd never thought about before. But it works quite well and just makes for a very cool little rover that you can drive around. So yes, this has been, of course, the Ares Martian Rover being made once more by user Amin KD, if that's even how you pronounce that name correctly. But yes, overall, very cool little mod, very well made, and I cannot wait to see how it does improve in the future. Uh, but yeah, if you would like to check it out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always, and I definitely say to give it a go and uh, add it to your rover collection on other worlds. But yes, that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one. Now let's uh, just go for a nice Sunday drive. Later, folks.